Mayweather Canelo, how do you see it unfolding? I see May Mayweather with no doubt. Just outclassing him every round? Just outclassing him every round. Mayweather, I think the Canelo fight would be like, uh, <laughs> would like, like a student going to kindergarten, you know, and then being taught by the teacher. Um, Canelo's a good fighter, don't get me wrong, he's a good fighter, you know, strong fighter. He's a strong fighter and he's big for that weight class. But he ain't got nothing coming when he comes down to Mayweather. Mayweather's a very, very smart, excellent boxer. You know, uh, he's an intelligent boxer all the way around. Well, what do you say about Brandon Reels from Oxnard, California against Manny Pacquiao? They're fighting in China. Uh, I'm going to have to go with Pac-Man. Why? Why? Because of his style. He got an awkward style. He'll be in shape. He got an awkward style. He's southpaw. You know, you never know which which way he's going, which how he's moving, or throwing his punches. He just throw punches, you know, a lot of punches. But but here's the question about Manny. His last fight, as we saw against Marquez, the way he got knocked out. Are you still the same fighter when you come back after such a knockout, or does it take something away from you? Well, I, I, I think I would be a little mistake on my end if I say if I say it don't if it, if I say it don't take anything away from him. Uh, it might have an effect a little bit, but I don't think that much. I don't think it will that much. It's the first time when you know he got hurt like that. But I don't I really don't think so. You never know, but I don't think so. So in your mind, who are the top five boxers in the history of boxing? In the history of boxing? Who would you put as your top five? Sugar Ray Robinson? Uh, Jesus Christ, you hit me with a question like that. They have a lot of great boxers. It's uh, tough to narrow it down, but would you put Floyd Mayweather in your top five? Yes, yes. Ali, Tyson? Yes, Ali, Tyson. Uh, see, Ali, Tyson. Leonard, Duran. Duran was a good fighter. Uh, also, Mildred Taylor. Of course. Um, Chavez, you know, he, he, he got to be there too, you know. Who, who's the toughest guy you fought? Oh, man, I, it seemed like everybody I fought was tough. I fought Randy Shaver, Ron Lowell, Oscar Bonavina, Big Cat, Cleveland Williams, Joe Bugner, um, Jerry Cosia, Big John Dow. Man, you, you asked me a hell of a question. What, what was it like to be a fighter when boxing was the number one sport in America? You know what? I took it as a joke in the beginning. You know, I didn't realize it was serious until uh, about 37 years old. You know, that's wow, man, this is serious. I better wake up, but it's too late now. I ain't made no money, you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was, it's, it's, it's all good, though, you know. Um, like I say, uh, back then, you know, they had hell of a fighters, and I mean, tough fighters. And, but the toughest one I ever fought, I'll answer your question. The toughest one I ever fought was a light heavyweight called Lonnie Bennett. You remember him? This guy could punch, he could open both of my eyes, and then second round and they let me go all the way to the ninth round I couldn't even see blood and stuff right and then in the ninth round I hit him he came and hit me and I swung back hit him with left hook and dropped him right they come stop the fight took me over to the corner called the doctor but the doctor said I couldn't continue oh, after I knocked him yeah. I said this is a drag you know <laughs> <laughs> hey some things in boxing don't change That's but, right. but I gotta ask you this you're a fighter you're fighting Real heavy guys, big dudes, tough guys. Yet, when I talk to you now, you seem like you wouldn't even tell you were a fighter. And sometimes when I talk to fighters, unfortunately, the damage, the accumulation, how do you think? What was your secret that now you're doing so good? My secret was not getting hit. How did you do it? You know, I, I, was, more, you know, I was more of a defensive fighter than offense. And, and that was because I never was really taught. What I learned, I learned it from getting in the ring with all these different people. I never really had a trainer that I could say was my trainer trainer. I never had one. I had different guys, you know, work with me here and there, get me fights, call me fights for fights like two, three days. No, okay, I go get it. I jump on it, you know. So that's that's where it was, you know. What advice would you have for young fighters who are watching this video from your experience in boxing? The advice I would have for young fighters is listen, you gotta listen to your coach, you understand? And and don't think you all that, you know, after you learn how to jab, don't think you're the best in the world, you know, because you're not. But I would say listen to your coach, train and, and, and make sure you do the right thing, follow the rules that it should be. That's, uh, 
that outside life don't do nothing stupid out there, you know, the drugs, the alcohol, and so now with the women and stuff like that, you gotta have control of that. Did you happen to see Anderson Silva's fight this weekend? No, my, I, well, you know, my son showed it to me when I missed the uh, What did you fight. think of that as a former pro fighter? That's what happens when you get cocky, you know? Sometimes you get a little cocky, you know, you think you're this and that, you know what I'm saying? And you do stupid stuff and you get caught. And that's what he did. He got caught. And he got caught good. And, but it just was very foolish to lean forward, put your hand down, stick your chin out. No, it was more than foolish. That was stupid. That was crazy. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? I don't know. You know? <laughs> and, and coach, so right now you're here in Vegas. There are a lot of big events here. What do fans tell you when they meet you? Uh, you know, how you doing? You know, this guy was a great fighter. You know, he fought everybody, you know, and uh, look at him. He said he like he looked like he's ready to fight now, you know, which I'm not, you know, but that's what it, that's what he greet me, you know. He, how you doing? It's good to see you. I haven't seen you in so long. You still go to the fight. What are you doing with your life? And I'm telling him still into boxing, teaching boxing. for eight years of age up. Last thing, what's your favorite boxing saying? You know, like, hit and don't get hit. Do you have one that you use, like, when you teach people? Hit not be hit.